everyone, welcome to my channel, Ursula Living. I hope I find all of you guys in great spirits. And of course, I am your girl, Ursula. And I wanna know how you living. Yes, let me know along with any feedback for this video in the comment section down below. Y'all, is it me? Okay, like Funky Dineva says, is it me? Girl, is it me? Or are drugstore brands, as far as makeup goes, are they like blowing up or what? Like they have been off the chain lately. I cannot tell you guys. And it doesn't even matter which brand in the drugstore we're talking about. It could be L'Oreal, Maybelline, uh, Elf Cosmetics, Wet n Wild, Milani. All of them have just been putting out major stuff. Like they have been putting out good quality stuff as well. So I'm just excited about that. But the thing that I'm more excited about is just seeing in the makeup world again. Is that me? Or is the makeup world really trying to like dibble dabble and accept and acknowledge that us brown skin girls, we love makeup just as much as every other color on, of the spectrum. Like we like makeup too. And although I'm not a makeup artist, I love makeup. I appreciate makeup. I think it's a wonderful thing. It's fun. And I like to dibble dabble in it. You know, I'm not a makeup artist or I don't even know how to apply makeup properly all the time, but I just swoop it on. I throw it up and let that shit just fall all over my face. Okay. But this video is going to be my first ever foundation review. As you guys know, in my January 2016, um, favorites i mentioned not my january just my 2016 favorites um i mentioned two foundations and that was the lancome and the anastasia beverly hills and i love both of those foundations but the foundation that i'm going to be reviewing today has been all over youtube and it's actually a lot cheaper than both of those foundations but i've been dibble dabbling in foundation simply because i've been wanting something that is more skin like um, I want something that looks more natural. I have really been focusing on my skin a lot lately, even though like I got this breakout right here, but that's okay because that's the time of the month and I, meant, I scratched it and I didn't mean to scratch it. But what had happened was I've been trying to find stuff that is um, more natural, more skin skin like instead of the heavier cakier stuff and I don't mean that in a bad way when I say heavier or cakier looking foundation it's just that you there's some foundation where you know like girl you got on foundation you trying to snatch it up I'm just trying to 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 have an everyday feel for something I know that I can really glam it up with some of the makeup products that I have but I also like foundation that is more skin like that looks more natural um right now I'm just really trying to take care of my skin which guys that's the true foundation of any makeup you know that there is and I wish more of us and more makeup artists would um I'm sorry my phone was ringing more makeup artists would concentrate on that which is the the care of your skin that's truly truly the foundation so i've been um getting a lot of facials and doing a lot of things to take care of my skin so actually this summer i don't even intend on wearing a lot of makeup that's why i'm looking for a good bronzer if you guys know any good bronzers a little lip gloss and maybe some highlight and going about your business but you know sometimes you want to like you know spruce it up a little bit and i want a foundation that just kind of gives me like okay you look healthy not like girl you look next to the gods i mean we can all do that but um i think it's it, it's amazing if you can find a foundation that that really um looks flawless on your skin and looks really skin like so that's why i've been dibble dabbling in foundation so with that said because i don't want this video to be extra long today's my first foundation true foundation review it's going to be on the wet and wild focus photo focus foundation is it gonna is it gonna there you go there you go all right so as you can see, it comes in this like plain little bottle here. There's nothing too exciting about the bottle. You know, it just, you know, you can see the color obviously through the bottle and it's just saying, you know, what the name of the product is and all that. And um, I did get it in caramel and I'm gonna say right off the bat, um, I probably could have went one shade darker possibly two but at least one for sure especially now that it's starting to warm up and i know that i'm going to be in the sun a lot more this year um my skin obviously from the sun i probably will tan i'll get a little bit darker so i probably could have went one to two shades darker but i just picked this up 
at my lo local Walgreens. You can find them at CVS Walgreens, wherever Wet n Wild is sold. Um, a lot of people I know were having issues with finding them in the drugstore as far as those brown girls. They didn't have all the colors, which I wish they just would have put out the whole line all at one time. But, you know, nevertheless, where I live, they pretty much had all the colors. So I just picked this one up because, I don't know, it just kind of looked like my skin a little bit. Though, I, like I said, I could have went darker. I do have it on today. I'll try to get close to the camera here. And so, as you can see, um, I probably probably should have went like one darker. Because this looks a little light on me. And I think um, even a shade or two darker would have been a good thing. But anyway. So, you got it in this bottle. The price is $5.99. And so, you know, there's some pros and cons to this. And I'm going to just show you what it looks like. It has this kind of tip applicator, if that, if you guys can see that. Um, it doesn't have a pump or a brush. And I actually kind of, I like this a little bit. Um, but honestly, I wish it just would have been in a pump because this foundation is really thin. It is not thick at all. It's, it's really thin and it's almost scary how thin it is especially um first applying it because you're like oh my gosh this is so thin is this really gonna work but once you apply it all over um a lot of people said that they recommend using like a beauty blender type thing like a sponge um some people have used actual foundation brush i like using the foundation brush that is more um dense with this and really getting it in there because it's um it's so thin and just making sure that it's getting into the skin and that you're able to spread it really good because if you don't blend it in really well, I feel like it can be a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit streaky. So you put it on. Now let me tell you this because um, before I go any further and tell you what I truly think of the foundation. <sighs> Y'all, this shit stink. <laughs> I ain't even necessarily gonna say it stink. But this smells like paint. It smells like paint. Like, it smells like paint. Like, I, there's no way around it. And as many reviews as, as I've seen on this, there's been like a handful that I've mentioned this. Everyone else is saying, oh, it's good or it's bad, whatever their thoughts are of, of actually how it works on their face. But truly, this smells like paint. I've asked Wet n Wild, they haven't got back to me, but I'm just like, why does it smell like paint? Because first of all, this is a cruelty-free brand. Now, cruelty-free means, my understanding, you don't test on animals. But my thing is, that's cool that you don't test on animals. And you know what? Thank God that you don't test this on an animal because why would you put this, why would you put something that smells like paint on an animal? Which comes to the next thing, well, Ursula, why did you put it on you? Well, hell, when you first open it, you don't smell it. But as you start bringing it to your face and putting it on you like dang it kind of smell like paint but as it blends in it goes away so i don't know what that is i've used this a couple of times i haven't broken out or anything from it but it smells like paint so if that scares you you may or may not want to um wear this foundation truly truly it smells like paint um it's not super strong it just smells like paint or like you just stepped in the nail shop and that's kind of scary. So wait a while, get back with a sister. Get back with us all and tell us why does it smell like paint? Um, now, once you get past that and you blend it in, like I said, I like a dense brush, getting back to that. Um, as far as the finish, I believe that it is buildable. I like that it looks clean. It doesn't look like cakey. Like I said, I think it can be a little bit streaky. I should have went down in a color, but once I put my makeup on, especially if I really do my makeup up and put a lot of like um, blush and highlight you know we do it up it actually looks pretty darn good for a foundation brand $5.99 this actually works pretty good y'all like I'm I'm pleasantly I'm I'm shocked um but the thing about this is is everyone's saying that it's not supposed to, the, the whole thing is not supposed to give you flashback and y'all know what flashback is when you take your picture and then you be looking all ashy especially with them concealers and it be all up under your eye and then you you be looking like you just psh, like your the rest of your face is tan and then it's just like light and you look ashy that's what this is saying that is not going to happen now i wore this um the other night it was date night and i wore this and i put it on about five o'clock i took some pictures i don't think that i looked ashy a little bit but not too much um 
I took pictures. We didn't even get home till like two in the morning. We had eight. We went out shopping, met up with um, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law. Hey, y'all, if y'all watching this. And, uh, and so, um, yeah, it lasted that long. We came back home. I couldn't believe that my face still looked pretty darn good. So it held up to, um, as far as like the wear of it, like how long it lasted on my face. Um, the flashback aspect it was okay you know i'm not gonna say it's a hundred percent but it was okay um it held up really well i love that it looks very nice and fresh on the skin you definitely if you want to have more coverage you definitely have to put more on you have to really really build it up i have not piled this on um at least what i would consider pile on so i don't know how it would look if you keep piling and piling it on but for me um it works good <laughs> like for $5.99 it's it's pretty decent i'm not gonna say it's the best of the best but it is pretty decent what else can i tell you before because i really don't have anything else to say um it's really decent i think that um this applicator i wish it would have been in a, a pump or something else because you know you're putting this on your face and putting it back in there i don't know if that's contamination i know some other people were you know worried about that but I hope that they even they put my thing is I hope that they put out even more colors um but for the price for what it is do I recommend that you try this yes it is a good brand why does it smell like paint I have no idea and by the way check out some more of wet and wild products they have they um have some highlights I actually have one here that I have on today I mentioned in a, uh, my February uh, favorites video this is crowned with my canopy this is a great highlighter they've been coming out with some great highlighters and blushes and lipsticks and the whole nine yard wet and wild has just been doing it up and like I said at the beginning of the, of the video drugstore brands are coming up so be on the lookout do not be acting like y'all just so bougie like y'all can't try the drugstore brands this is pretty good now like I said it smells like paint I don't know why it hasn't broken me out but I'm not gonna be using this every day and you look at that you could tell like that looks a little bit too ashy look at that but off camera maybe because I'm like really in the light it doesn't look too bad but um it's a little bit ashy like the color payoff I should have like that's my fault on the color but what it does and how it feels on the skin wet and wild you're doing something right you, you probably need to you know work out a few kinks like the smell and like i said it's a little bit streaky can be a little bit streaky so you have to make sure that you're blending it in really well um and just more color options for us brown skin girls and uh, yeah and i would recommend from my understanding from a lot of other youtubers and things like that i would recommend you if you can and if it's in your area to actually buy it at the store than online because if you ship it back you have to pay for like shipping and all that other kind of stuff it's just a mess so um and if something is too light hell put it on as a concealer or something um they have concealers too which are pretty darn good so and they don't smell like paint so i don't know why this does but check it out that's it i don't have that much to say um i'm not gonna do like a whole demo because i'm not set up for that i have to figure out how i'm going to do that because i owe somebody a video on um like a get ready with me but I'm trying to come up with the come up, y'all. So stay still, stay with me, stick with me, work with me. But this photo uh, focus foundation is pretty good. Like, don't sleep on it. Give it a try, and at the you know, if you don't like it, then you can always take it back. Simple as that. All right.